Oh my god. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rollerblades Barbie and Ken from the Barbie movie. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Alright, here they are. So they are part of the second wave of dolls from the Barbie movie series and I got mine from Amazon Singapore for $60 each. Taking a look at their packaging, their boxes are the same design as the other kind of non-deluxe dolls in the series, featuring smaller and shorter boxes. The rollerblades are displayed beside them in the box, so they are kind of barefoot underneath in there, but I think it is done so that they remain fit in the box. Now with my mini cat paw scissors, it's time to take them out of the box. Putting on their shoes was quite easier than I thought because the shoes are actually made out of quite flexible type of rubber so their feet just slip in. And to my delight, they actually can stand pretty well on their own too. Like you don't even need to balance them that much. You can just plop them down and they're standing. The bro collector in me is relieved that this will save me from having to buy two additional stands as only the deluxe ones comes with stands. As always, before we get into the details, here is a 360 look at the dolls. So at first glance, they're pretty detailed. There's a lot of stuff going on happening with them. And of course, Barbie's hair does need a little work later on. But other than that, they look pretty great. And the pink is actually very, very bright. It's, it's, it's hurting my eyes a little bit. <laughs> For the details, let's start off with our Kenny boy. Face and hair wise, he pretty much has the same screening and hair as his previous dolls. For his little sun visor on his head, there is a lot of plastic things happening in there to keep it in place. It's made out of a nice shiny pink plastic and for the shades part, it has this matte paint job to represent the patterns. And yep, the hair is pretty gelled. Moving on to his outfit, so the outfits are very faithfully recreated in doll form, I just love that. The jacket has an elastic waistband, so it also creates the rouging. Underneath the jacket, he has his pink tank top that is made out of this stretchy kind of t-shirt material. His neon fanny pack is also nicely sculpted with all these zipper details. And it has adjustable closures in the back, so that's very cool. Then he got his matching wristbands that is textured like an actual cloth material. Then we have his pants which are the same material as the jacket and also has an elastic waistband. Then we also have his knee pads or knee covers or knee pr protectors, <laughs> I don't know. But they are just so awesome because they are adjustable, like their little adjusters in the back actually works. But I pretty much assume that they're just going to be sculpted one pieces and it's such a pleasant surprise to see them actually work. I don't know about you guys, but when little tiny doll things actually work like the real things, it just tickles me with joy. Then finally we have his skates, so the paint job is great, the sculpting is great, I think a real one also exists. And the wheels actually work too, so you can roll them along a flat surface. Oh my god. I was just about to say, I think they're removable. And yes, they are. <laughs> so yes, that was me accidentally discovering that the wheels come off. Which is pretty cool, but it scared me for a quick second there. I thought like, okay, great, I just opened this doll and I have broken it. <laughs> but it's actually pretty neat. They come on and off very easily, so you could either rock them in sneakers or in skates. Alright, now it's time for Miss Barbie. It's just Barbie. Oh, sorry, it's just Barbie. So her hair, well, it must have been a windy day on Venice Beach that day because she, she needs work in her hair. She also has the plastic tabs to keep her visor in place. 
And her little top pony is lopsided, but it's easily fixable later with a simple restyle. Like Ken, the face is pretty much the same as all her other dolls. For jewelry, she have these two neon hoop earrings that are just violently jammed into her ears. Look at that. That looks painful. It's splitting her ear hole. Well, at least they're in the right spot, because I've seen dolls where her earrings are coming out of her actual ear canals. Now that's painful. Oh, and she also got these two little tendrils in the front that are gelled. Whenever a hairstyle has these type of front tendrils, my mom would always call them cockroach antennas. So every time I see these type of hairstyles, I think about cockroach antennas in my head and I do a little giggle. Moving on with her outfit, so first up she got her elbow guards. Um, I keep calling them different names, and at this point I don't even know which one is the correct one. But anyways, I love that um, she has the elbow guards, but Ken has the wristband, so there's a little bit of a uh, mix-up between them, so that's cool. And thank god the elbow guards are actually adjustable as well, because they're very loose on her arms and they just want to fall off. Then she got her knee guards that are the same, but smaller than Ken's. And finally, we have her skates, which are also the same as Ken's, but smaller. And they do come on and off as well. And I just realized I skipped the actual outfit, so going back up, she has her neon pink leotard in a matching pattern with Ken. And I was so excited when I discovered that her little pants are not stitched to the leotard and they are their own separate little shorts, so happy dance. I was fully expecting them to be stitched together, so it's again one of those nice little surprises that you find when you take a new doll out of the box. And finally, before we go, her visor, so it's exactly the same as Ken, even the size. Her legs does have a little double-sided tape to keep the shorts in place. And these two dolls can totally work as beach dolls or swimwear dolls because if you take off Barbie's shorts and Ken's top, they've become beach. And what a good job you do at beach. For their articulation, so she moves at the neck, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the hips, and the knees, but however the legs do not want to come apart very much, that this is as much as they'll go. Same thing for Ken, he moves at the neck, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, hips, and knees. The knees do bend 90 degrees, they're just kind of blocked by the knee pad. Similarly to Barbie, he can't really spread his legs, so I'm so sorry, no horseback riding for you, Ken. Unless you do a side saddle. Alright, so for my final thoughts, I pretty much dig these two, I don't even have anything much to say about them. I love the layers on their clothing, I love the little adjustable straps on their knee pads, elbow pads, and his fanny pack and all of that. The shoes are nicely painted. Overall very nicely executed with really nice details for $25 dolls, so it's, it's a win in my book and I, I love them so much. They're just really so funky and they stand out in your collection and I've rarely had like matching Ken and Barbie um, looks in my collection. You know, I have like Barbies and Ken separately, but they've never in like a matching look. So this is pretty cool uh, addition to my collection. So that is it for my review and thoughts on the Rollerblades Barbie and Ken from the Barbie movie. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, have you gotten them? Are you planning to get them? What do you think about them? Sound off in the comments below. If you're into toy photography, you can also check me out on Instagram at Creates for my toy photography featuring Barbie, Disney, and many more. But once again, thank you so much for watching until the very end, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!